Hello, Monsters Abound here. Welcome back to Total War Warhammer 2 Mortal Empires and part 29 of my Malekith campaign. This is the second episode 29 I've recorded. The update for the laboratory was today and at first I thought I'd lost a save. I thought it was gone. However, with a little bit of tinkering, I've managed to get it working again and I cannot tell you how relieved I was. Jeez, oh, I was... I was not best pleased, I'll be honest. I was a little bit... I was a little bit vexed. Now, because this is the second part 29, I cannot actually remember where I am. It's... It's like a sci-fi thing where I'm living two different lives. Now, I, I did I did fight the battle for Eagle Gate. It was a piece of piss, I'll be honest. Really not an issue. Marathi did die um, when she accidentally flew into, uh, or rather in, in the way of, where our crossbows were firing while my attention was elsewhere. And so um, Sulafet kind of, kind of ended up a little bit more aerated than I think he, he probably should be. And Marathi ended up face, face, like, like head, basically hit, hit the tiles of the city head first. And, uh, that was not good. So, uh, with that in mind, I think I'm just going to water resolve this. The, the gates do look cool, but garrison-wise, they're not... I, I, I just attacked it with um, Rasara and Marathi. Pits of shade everywhere. We wiped them out. It was it was, it was a cakewalk. So we're just going to water resolve this, I think. And uh, Marathi is going to survive. So there we go. And we are going... Now, I could loot and occupy... But to be honest, I kind of want it intact because it is going to be a line of defence. So we are going to just capture the Eagle Gate. Good job there. We've got a war banner. Very nice. An elf servant. Lovely. Another elf servant banner of flame. Another elf servant. Of well, rack racking up the uh, the followers there. The elf Lots of elf servants. And Felician has got a skill point. Okay. What do I like here? So you're Blood Scourge, so you're quite nasty in melee combat. So we could give you Blade Master. I mean, holy crap, you've got 99 melee attack. Jeez. Christ, love. All right, chill. Um, Maybe go for a horsey. I mean, that gives you a lot more speed. Reduces your weapon strength. Uh, and also removes all of your effects, apparently. Is that right? Maybe that's just a... Let's try it. Because... Maybe it's because it just doesn't show up. Okay, well, let's, let's try that. So, Felicion, what, what have you got? Okay, okay, yeah, so you've got the Hunger, you've got the Shield of Grom. Okay, that's fine. Good. Uh, what, are, what have you got? You've got a Slaver. Income. I mean, casualties captured post battle is quite nice. I like that more. Casualties captured post battle. Yes. Unit experience for war beast recruit. Yeah. I, I can take that or leave it, to be honest. Maybe have a wailing banner. How about that? I mean, that is going to keep you awake at night, though. Uh, so we've got a war banner. We've got a wailing factor. Income from trade, faction wise. Do I really care about that? Not really. So let's give you. Uh, let's give you a, I mean, we, we will be fighting high elves a lot. So I think weapon strength when fighting high elves is probably a good shout. Let's do that. Lovely. I am Marathi. You are Marathi. Yes. Thank you for announcing yourself every single sodding time I click on you. Okay. Tressa. Now, Cauldron of Blood. Love the old Cauldron of Blood. Really enjoy that. Replenish troops. Do I like that? I kind of do. Like, oh yeah, let's go, let's go for that. And Steven Seagal's with the roundhouse kick. Uh, well, survivalist, maybe. On the other hand... Maybe precise. Or scavenger. Let's give him scavenger. I like that. Now, we do have these guys over here. I assume I recruited them last episode. Can't actually remember. It's been a little... It's been, it's been a couple of days, to be honest. It's a bit stressful trying to keep up with the with the release uh, schedule, to be honest. I think 
two episodes a day is is quite draining because I haven't had time recently to actually get any any backlog. So a lot of the time I'm recording them literally the night before. So a uh, little bit, a little bit stressful, but it's fine. It's fine. Uh, let's get the Dark Elf Harbour there. That'll be a good idea. Let's get uh, the Dark Tower. Artasian? Sure. Oh, what's Malekith doing? I forgot. almost forgot about Malekith. How how utterly... Oh, well, he's, he's moved. That's okay. And Zoram, you're not doing anything. Okay, who hasn't moved? Sha Shakira. Um, these... Yeah, can we... No, not you. What about you? No. Can we... It's 26... Yeah, give it, give it a... Sh oh, you can't move. Which elf priestess? Is there anyone available? No, you're all right. Well, Cruel Moransti and Raquel are going to head for Griffin Gate. Now that we've got Eagle Gate, uh, Eagle Gate. No, we haven't done anything there, have we? So, Eagle Gates are a, the gates are a special built uh, a special settlement type, basically, and they kind of sit in between in these valleys here, and they are basically just one settlement provinces. So that's all we get. Oh, wait, wait, hang on. Is this new? Cobra Knights, secondary building, fighting pits. Can you even have fighting pits here? No. So, is that an update thing? Or... Or a Steel Faith Overhaul thing. Because if it's a Steel Faith Overhaul thing, then you're, you're done buggered up, guys. Because you can't get fighting pits in gates. So basically, having Black Guard, Cold One Knights, and Cold One Dread Knights is, is pointless. Right, well. As well as a lot of these units as well. Interesting. I might double check that, but if that's still faith overhaul, then that's not that's not good, is it really? It's not very not very sensible. Okay, well let's get the harpy roost then, I guess, because it's uh, about the only thing that's going to be any use. Does that mean it's the same over here? But we do have arena fighting pits. Yeah. Okay. Well, so uh, you know, it's, it's generally it's all right, but. It is going to cause some issues for places like that. I'm not sure whether that's base game or still Faith Overhaul. Just Death going to put that out there, but whatever it is, it's bloody stupid. Right, the Aghol Wasteland. So let's get the Dread City there. We do have this little Nile Stigson. He's he's coming down to say hello. It's very nice. We've got some Hydra. Uh, yeah, we're going to get Hulalian's going to come over here. And deal with that. And Neheth is going to come over here and deal with a lesser. Because I want them to live in a little spider infested hellhole and stop coming out bothering me. I think. Uh, I think. Okay, what's public order like? Other. Minus 29. What does other mean? Hmm. Okay, well, let's go for public order there then, because we'll probably need it. Unless it's just always stable. Not sure about that. We have met the dwarves. The dwarves do not like us. So, some things never change. They're very angry bits. Is, is it small man syndrome? They just always seem so angry. Constantly yelling grudges and... Well, that's pretty much all they do, to be honest. But still. I mean, come on, guys. Just stop being so cranky.
Oh, you guys. You guys are the worst. Oh, there's Tyrion. Tyrion's back. He's hunting the beastmen. Uh, looks like the War Herd of Chaos sailed all the way down to Bretonia, only to die at the hands of the Wood Elves. Good job, guys. Did, Beastmen, how did you do? You lost. Okay. See? I... You know, they, they can stay in their little spider-infested hellhole. That's fine. They keep wandering out. I need, like, a child gate or something just to stop them. What I need to do is kill them all. That's exactly what I'm going to do. There's also a lot of marauders that need killing. Like, an excessive number of marauders that need killing. Oh, there's Sutha Eek. Larmant Dahl. I know that name from my tro uh, Throg campaign. Okay, Marathi's units got assaulted by this floating Womble face. That's not even an insult. Alright, Tamarith. You're going to get assassinated because... Come on, what do you got? 31% chance. Come on. Come on, my son, you've got this. Nope. Skaven, Les. Why are you telling me this? Failure. Right. Okay. Good. We got raiding going on. There's that stuff. Good. Fine. Okay. Well, we got some tech as well. There's more elf servants. There seem to be elf servants friggin' everywhere. Okay. Raquel. Striking. Out. Moving up. As is Moransty. Go on. They're ready to go. Morathi's army uh, uh, took a little bit of damage, but it's generally fine. Speak. Eagle Gate will be okay. Do we hit Whitefire Tor? That army doesn't look doesn't look too too problematic, but maybe we just leave the, the Eagle Gate. Ah, uh, but they, they I need to, I need them to replenish for a little bit. Right, you're okay there. Can we kill these guys? Queen, thirty six percent. Yes, nice work. That's what it's all about. Let's get uh, Selveth over here. Okay, we do have. Waylon. Good. Waylon. Uh, Moransty's got a skill point. Level 16, Moransty. Uh, granite stance. Okay. What do I like here? What do you what have you got? You've got a bunch of Black Arc Corsairs. So we could potentially go for well, no. No, I, I'm, I'm, no, I'm not liking that. No, no, not liking it. We could go for a Pegasus. That would drop our health, though. And a lot of other stats as well. Just give us more melee defense and charge bonus. However, because... We probably want her to be in the front line, though, don't we? So, you know what? I'm going to give her a hard to hit. Because it kind of goes with granite stance, doesn't it? Right, Tor and Rock. Come, come back. There you go. Right. Right, we definitely want the uh, fighting pits there. We, of course, have Kalkin's army. He's going to Sildra Tor to keep an eye on the frog. Make sure he didn't get up to anything. Sneaky. Ah, and the head. Right now, well, now, Alyssa, I, I would have let you stay in your little spider-infested hellhole, but you keep wandering away. So we're going to have to teach you a lesson, aren't we? Yes, we are. And because I want to do this personally, I feel like the personal touch is required here. Yeah, that's, that's why you don't stand in front of a dragon, guys. So Alyssa has decided to march out of her pit of spiders. We're going to make sure she stays there. We're in a bit of a causeway battle, and I quite like these. We've got our cavalry on my left flank here going to deal with this. We've got dragon as well, black dragon. He's just incinerated a unit of dark shards, and we've got some black arc corsairs 
sort of protecting this causeway. That's probably a bad option because obviously Black Ops Cors Corsairs versus very heavily armoured and uh, powerful Cold One Dread Knights and a Cold One Chariot as well. Yeah, he didn't brace very well. So he goes straight through the lines there. Those Corsairs getting torn to pieces. The Black Dragon's coming as well. Yeah, that's a lost cause, guys. Over here, we've managed to get into range with our Bolt Thrower. So these guys are going to start being peppered. Just a, a light seasoning of six foot long bolts. They do have some bolt throws of their own. We kind of need to deal with those. They're a little bit of a problem. Thankfully, the dragon has just the answer. That's pretty much wiped out that Reaper Bolt Thrower. Excellent. So nice and bunched up as they come across this uh, little bridge here. And they're going to pay for that. We've got some units hanging back. Uh, Shadow of Anlet going off there trying to deal with that second Bolt Thrower. Cavalry has come in behind. Our Bolt Throwers are concentrating on a lesser on her dragon. Now the Dark Shards being chased down. That last bolt throw also being dealt with. Alyssa's main line now approaching our main line. We've got units of bolt uh, cross uh, shards, dark shards even, uh, at the front here. Armed with shields. Basically, uh, Neheth's army is, is one of the most powerful that the Dark Elves have. I imagine that really must annoy the other Dreadlords because she's ba she was basically just recruited from nothing. Yeah, they've been fighting for a long time. They've got bog standard units, and uh, suddenly the Heth arrives, and it's like, yep, yeah, give her the best. Pendulum coming in there and uh, carving its way through a Corsair unit and a Dark, dark uh, Dreadspear. And it looks like the army is now chasing our cavalry. Cavalry's backing off. The Death Hag is currently approaching, though. And the Heth is going to move in to deal with that. Very good. And over here, we have countercharged Alyssa. She's been pretty, uh, pretty beat up from the bolt throw. It's been concentrating on her. And now she's surrounded by Colborn Dread Knights and a Black Dragon. She's not having a good time with that. She's taking a lot of damage very quickly. And now she's trying to rout, trying to flee, but she's not going to be able to get away. And she goes down. There she goes, on the floor. Boom. Nice work, guys. Last few units trying to come in. But uh, is it Kaylin? Kaylin is, drops another pit of, uh, pit of shades. Finishes them off 133 kills. Not Marathi level, but not a bad start. And with that, Alyssa's army completely destroyed. Uh, Dark Elf ruthless efficiency at its best. I'm sure that the Black Guard and the Harganeth execution was a little bit disappointed they didn't get a C in, but that's just how it goes sometimes. And Heth has got a sword of striking. Oh, I haven't given her any magic items. I should do that. Make their deaths painful. No, 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 slaves. My power grows. Nice. Okay, so we got sort of striking. The Heth is ranked up. Let's go. F Sheath Master is just such. It's such a good option. I don't know why you wouldn't take it. So we'll do that. So let's go to the Temple of Adioth. And the Heth, I think it's, we're just going to hit the Plane of Spiders potentially. We might. Oh, uh, you're right. What, the, what are their defences like? I mean, not great, but not bad. 
but we might might need to keep an eye on him just to be on the safe side. Okay. Hagreen has got oh skill points. Okay, well, let's go for Ward of Cain to keep us safe. And then I think we're going to want to. Can we can we actually move into enemy territory or? I think no. I think it is still going to be our territory. We're still going to be raiding our own territory and making everyone very angry. So there was that. Okay, good. That's that's fine. Marathi. Ah, we, can we can we kill this? Did we try killing him? Eleven percent. Did we already try that? I think we did. I watch from well, the Marathi, do I want you to head into? S Ooh, do I want to head to White White Fire Tor? Do I feel like sacking White Fire Tor, spreading some chaos? Dark there is an army down here. Maybe we, I, I think I'll just wait until that garrison is a little bit healthier. So, Marathi, you'll be fine. Research. Uh, I mean, income from settlements might be quite nice. We are. How much are we actually spending? We're getting 4,000 a turn. We're spending 53,000 per turn on army upkeep. Holy crap. That's a lot of money. Okay, good. So that's what we're spending. So maybe we want a little bit more income. Uh, but... Shades, harpies... So we got that... Maybe go for consumed by rivalry, more loyalty and public order plus one. Let's let's go for that. I think it's probably. Cain requires another sacrifice. I, I wonder if the Eagle Gate can't lose public order. In which case, let's go for read read dark portents there. Hell Spy Mountain. You don't want to do anything there. Here are not moved. Zoram. Oh, well, okay. Well, you're going to move up here. Uh, do you want to do anything here? You got a sixty-two percent chance. Success. Good job. Overseer, elf servant, more elf servants, and that army took quite a, quite a pounding actually. Okay, don't care about that. Zoram has got a skill point, and I, I mean, he's not really going to be in the army, so maybe we're just going to go for, I don't know, Hawkeye. Sure, sure, that's fine. My real is up, is uh, moving up to assist. That army that was heading towards us has has disappeared. It's gone. It's gone somewhere else. Which, fine. More than happy for it to do that. We've got our Hitman squad heading for Toron Rock. As you can see from the power bar here, the dwarves are about as powerful as we are. It's pretty even. Uh, thankfully, I did see there is another update scheduled for January, which is going to deal with the dwarf problem, because they really are a problem. Well, Britonia actually dealt dealt with an uh, Wood Elf army. I'm I'm impressed. And Tyrion is going to kill the beastmen. Poor beastmen. I would like my next campaign to be a Beastman campaign, so if if you want to suggest which Beast Lord I should play, you've got Kazrak, the one eye, pretty bog standard sort of Beast Lord. You've got Malagor, who is sort of the caster lord, and then you've got Morgar, who is he's a little bit he's he's more of a tanky character. The main problem with him is that it does make your Minotaurs more expensive. But he's quite a cool character. I quite like him. But if, if he just reduced the cost of Chaos Spawn and had no effect on Minotaurs, I'd be like, brilliant. But because, obviously, he buffs his army, so his Chaos Spawn are slightly more powerful, which is great. But Chaos Spawn in general, not that, in my opinion, not that good. So you kind of lose the super-powered Minotaurs in return for one army having pretty good Chaos Spawn. So... Uh, but, you know, let me know. See what you think. Okay, so we're going to lose Aisling Conclave. That's gone. Goodbye. Farewell. And Silent Count. 
Oh, we got a heroic victory. Holy crap. Uh, slaves then, I guess. Always good to ha Oh, hello. Can you feel it? Yes. From the north it comes. It always does. The tendrils of chaos spread south, tainting Ugh. the lands. And with it, the warriors of chaos march. We must ready ourselves, for war is coming. Is this going to be problematic? The warring tribes together. What manner of champion holds that power? Just for once, I'd love it to turn around and be Jar Jar Binks. Okay, so do Chaos Forces spawn in Nagron? Because if so, Oblivion has come, my lord. We could be in trouble. Oh, and Brayherds as well. Times has re-entered the world. With him marches a chaos host numberless in size. Well, there's two. Prepare yourself. It's not numberless. For the coming apocalypse. Okay, is there anything up here? Can we see anything? Is there anything? Any chaos? No? No? Okay, we're, 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 okay, this is fine. This is fine. Okay, that's that's I was I was concerned. But this is okay. Right. Stuff stuff is happening. Don't really not really that. Yeah, okay, good, good, good. Okay, yeah, off you go back. Go shoot back back under the stairs with Harry Potter. Weird old man. No, don't don't go under the stairs with Harry Potter. That is the wrong thing to say. Different cupboard. Okay, so let's try and assault these guys. Good. Uh, deliberately callous, Zoran. Nice work. Okay, can we kill these? I, I think we can kill these guys. I think that's a pretty dead cert there, so I think we're just going to auto resolve that one. We've, we've we've all seen Marauder Massacres before. We're all aware of what happens. Uh, I Yeah, let's loot and occupy. Got Scroll of Leeching. And Chaos will have spawned out. Malekith is only one army by himself, so... Do I want to... Do I need to... Holy crap. Okay... Um. Right. Good. Good. Fine. Right. Yes. Well, why not? Sure. Okay, so hopefully not all of them will head my way, but some of them no doubt will. Stop. We are going to have to do something about that. I mean... I would like Clarkron to stay in the little box, but on the other hand, Nagaroth, you shall fail. Really? True shall rise. Uh, look, I've just got other things. I mean, I, I want you to stay in your plane of spiders, Kaelin. You've got a skill point, but it would be nice if. Let's get a bit of shades. If we could at least sort of. Dark Lord. I've got other I've got other things to deal with at the moment, Clark Rond. I just don't have time to deal with you. Okay, well we got Hulali and Blackstones up there. Okay, now when the end times happened, Malakis basically abandoned Nagrond. He basically went, No, we're going to we're going to Ulthwan. Any anyone who, who wants to stay, you're quite welcome to play with the hordes of chaos coming southward. Do I do similar? On the other hand, Malakis has, has actually is traipsing, traipsing through Norsica at the moment, so he's he's not so much invading Ulthuan. But um, is that what we want I to do, or shall I? Do I send forces to deal with chaos? Oh, uh, I don't know. Okay, with Rakal, Ransty, you're going to hit Griffin Gate. Let's sure. Oh uh, no, 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 you take that. Uh, we'll give that to that. Fine. Retreat. Uh, yeah, I think I'll just go auto resolve this one. Yeah, that's fine. I have brought them ruin. That's Death fine. We're going to occupy. So we've got Eagle and Griffin Gate. We've got Banner of Swiftness as well. Another Elf Servant. A Slaver. An Overseer. Morancy's a good attacker. Lovely. And we will give Satilla. Uh, Wild-Eyed to help with her melee attack. 
Okay, so I've got decisions to make here, but we are running out of time, so I'm going to have to leave it there. So next time, what are we going to do about this? That's the question. Little flotilla of chaos ships there. Hopefully they won't all head my direction, but knowing the AI, I reckon at least half of them will. And of course, we've got other chaos forces over here, and Malekith, do we, does Malekith stand firm in the face of chaos aggression? I don't know. Or do we just run away? Maybe we should run away. I don't know. Ooh. Choices. So that's, that's good. But uh, thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you next time.